today earlier uh they released a trailer for a brand new dragon ball game and it is actually a 3d dragon ball game <laughs> yeah man we finally got a new 3d arena fighter no we didn't so this game looks a lot like tag or something reminiscent of like a friday or like a like more like a horror game of some sort it looks pretty interesting i'm sure it's probably gonna get a lot of hate but um i think it looks pretty interesting and hopefully if it's not priced too high i think it could have a lot of potential but let's check it out cgi looks great as always so we have the city here obviously cell absorbing bodies i like this shot a lot here because you have to you have to remember you have to think it must be scary to live through this cell absorbing an entire city like, this is definitely like a good showcase of of how fearful you should be cgi looks amazing this reminds me of xenoverse um xenoverse 2 cgi but like a little bit better shady it's time to take a stand oolong <laughs> okay. is this like a okay we have a raider which is gonna be I don't know if it's gonna be cell only as the raider and then seven different survivors so you see we have, we have looks to be CACs and then we have Balma. Okay, so a lot of different locales. Okay, it looks like there's a way to. <laughs> we got Oolong transformations. Is this the first time Oolong's gonna be playable in a game? Because I don't think he's playable in Tenkaichi 3. It's definitely interesting. So it looks like the goal of Cell is going to be to absorb the players. And it's like hide and seek tag, sort of like a, a horror aspect to it. I love this shot a lot. We got Bulma looking at a Kamehameha. And I'm bumping into each other. Ooh, Cell looks menacing here. Breakout from Chaos. What are they gonna do with that? I wonder what the objective of the the other seven players is gonna be. The Breakers. Dragon Ball the Breakers 2022. We got it for PS4. So it is gonna be a last gen game. Um Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, Switch. That's good to hear that it'll be on Switch um from release. Dragon Ball games actually do very, very well on Switch. I know Xenoverse 2 is still at like the top of the top selling charts on uh the the Switch shop. And Steam. Okay, so it's it's gonna be on every platform. Um Closed beta test coming soon. I did not see this. Okay, so that's really exciting. I'm definitely gonna be hopping on that as soon as it drops. But um, let's just take a little analysis here. A little analysis here. So I really like this shot um of someone peeking out the window. Like imagine IRL looking out your window and seeing like cell. Like in the Dragon Ball Z universe, there's walking animals, so it might not be as menacing for them. But for us, like, Cell absorbing the city should be a scary sight. It's something that we never really experienced in first person. So I'm curious to see, like, I think the game will have a lot of funny and scary moments. So it should make for pretty good content. Hopefully it's fun. It has a lot of game modes and it, you know, isn't Demon Slayer with one game mode. And we can actually play it for more than a month. We have Oolong hiding here. It's almost like a prop hunt from Call of Duty. He's hiding 
pretending to be an object and then we see the sweat and then he transforms obviously oolong um has a transformation ability so i don't know if oolong is going to be the only character with that ability or what regardless that looks fun to do and then we have the capsule court time machine here and then we have a baby cell so it looks like maybe this will be how the mission starts or the game starts like he breaks out of the time machine and then he walks around and then he tries to transform and get stronger and find players so maybe the first transformation will be like I don't know, just after a certain amount of time, and then the second and third, you'll actually have to absorb a player. So this shot looks really weird here. We got a CAC, it appears to be, running away from Cell. He's like crawling, like he's really trying to get out of there. And Cell can actually launch attacks. It looks like all players can launch attacks at each other. So I'm curious, like... How much of this is going to be like a fighting game or like a like a, a tag a game of tag is that is special beam cannon going to just stun the player or is it going to do damage it definitely looks like a stun okay and then we have him launching some sort of shield ability an asymmetrical action game. so this is actually freeze the inside of Frieza's ship if you play Xenoverse, then you know this uh, shot very well. And we got him hiding behind it here. So I, I don't know if this is going to be its own map or like it's going to be more of an open world and you could travel to different places and hide there. I'm not sure. But we got the cell games there and then we got the inside of Capsule Corp. So there's definitely a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, maps. So it looks like... So here it seems that he captured a player and he's about to absorb them um that's the famous <laughs> chokehold absorb um and then it looks like another player here can stop it by sending out a, a, a missile but the player is then down so that's that's interesting and then oolong is able to transform into a rocket and fly away we got cell launching a command mail wave Okay, and it looks like you can use the pods that the Saiyans use to travel, to move around as well. Okay, and then you can conjure up the time machine, use that for mobility, and it teleports. Or maybe it looks like, actually, this does look a lot like Friday. It looks like this is how you win the game. It looks like this is one of the ways that you can actually win the game. Maybe if you find parts to build the rest of the time machine and you can actually escape. It looks like that's how you, uh, at least for some players, win the game. So you see you have one player in the middle, one player on the left, and maybe one player can go on the right. Or maybe, no, no, no. It looks like maybe one, two, three, four, five players could fit on this. And that's how uh, some players could win the game. Um, if you don't know, in Friday, you have to escape. And there's different ways to do it. So that's what that reminds me of. Second form launching from there, man. Into the city. I'm not sure what that's gonna do. Other with survivors. And hopefully this game, obviously it's gonna be online. Hopefully the online runs well. With seven players in each game, it's definitely gonna be hard for Bandai to have good online. Because they can barely do it with one-on-one -on -one matches, so hopefully that's not a problem but you can go ahead and expect that from Bandai. okay the breakers coming in 2022 um by my estimate this game doesn't look too difficult to produce it should be out maybe by like the the middle of the year or maybe towards the end yeah that's about all i have to say on the game uh let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um are you guys excited for this more generic or like fun sort of dragon ball game or are you guys upset and you're like where's the next 3d arena fighter where's the next big dragon ball game let me know what you guys think in the comments down below 
That's gonna be it for me. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gone.